Hi everyone. Today we're going to make puffy paint. And it's a really simple recipe. So to make puffy, puffy paint, you're going to need some flour, just regular flour, some food coloring. If you don't have food coloring, you can use paint. If you have tempera paint or acrylic paint like this, that's fine. You'll also need some salt, some baking powder, a spoon, some water, a pair of scissors, and some kind of a plastic baggie, either a Ziploc or a sandwich bag, something that's plastic. It doesn't have to be this small. If you have bigger bags than this, that's okay. So I'm going to make three different colors of puffy paint. That's why I have the three different bowls. Okay, so in each bowl I put uh, one fourth of a cup of flour in each bowl. Sorry, my, my recipe's blowing away here. I'm, out, I'm outside. Then I'm going to put one teaspoon of baking powder in each bowl. So about that much. Then one half of a teaspoon of salt. So I'm going to mix those dry ingredients together. Now add one-fourth of a cup of water. and then mix that. I kind of wish I used bigger bowls. But <laughs> Good enough. A little bit more. already starting to get kind of puffy. All right, so now I'm going to add my food coloring. I think two drops is plenty. 
but you can always add a couple more drops if you feel like the color isn't um, like vibrant enough. So I'm going to try the red. And I'll do two drops to start. Yeah, it looks kind of pink, so I'm going to add a little bit more. Unless you want pink. So now you know that two drops will make pink. I'll do like three. I'm going to wipe off my spoon so I can do another color in this one. So I'll mix this one up. And now I know I definitely need more water than what I put in at first. So I've got blue, the green, and yellow. I'll try the green. Two, three, four, five. So I put five drops in. Five drops in here, five drops in for the green. Mix that. Ooh, oh, I like the green. Kind of a mint green, but I like it. Okay, and I'll do blue for the last one. I think that'll look good. Mix this one. Yeah, I definitely need a bigger bowl. <laughs> so don't use small bowls like me. Use a, a bigger bowl, like maybe a cereal size bowl or a soup bowl. But I like how it came out. It looks really good. The red and the green look good. bit more. Okay. Put this one away. Take out this one. Put this one away. Blue. One, two, three, four, five. I want my blue to be darker, so I'm going to add just a little bit more blue. 
one, two, three. Well, not that much of a difference, but it's still a pretty blue. I like it. Okay, so I'm going to move some things over. And I'm going to try painting on a piece of paper. So you're going to take one of your little baggies, open it up, and you're going to scoop in a color. So I'll scoop in the blue. looks like frosting. <laughs> okay, that's plenty. Seal it up. Just gonna wipe my hands. Get my paper. Move these over. Okay, so now I have my puffy paint in the bag. And I'm going to squeeze it towards one of the corners here. I still got. There. I'm going to cut this little corner right here with the scissors, and then I'll be able to squeeze it out. Here it comes. <laughs> cool. All right, I'll do another color. I gotta clean off my spoon. I've only got one spoon. I'll do the red. Make sure it all goes into the corner. Squeeze it to the corner. Then cut off that little plastic corner. There we go. And it's supposed to dry puffy. So after it dries, it should pretty much look the same as it does right now. And I'll hold this up. There's my puffy paint. And good luck with your puffy paint. And I'll see you in the next video.